Today I'm going to show you how to create boho rainbows. These are some really cute designs that you can use as an alternative to the usual sunset style and you can sell them as digital downloads as well. So the first thing I'm going to do is just draw out a ruler. If you don't see these ruler lines, just hit Ctrl R. This is going to be the base of a rainbow. Select the pen tool, make sure the stroke color is black and then all you need to do is go ahead and start drawing some sort of oval semicircles if that makes any sense obviously you're trying to make the shape of a rainbow and you don't have to worry about these being very geometric they typically look like fairly hand-drawn anyway right now that we've got that done you can go ahead and up the stroke width we want them to be quite thick but we don't want them to be nearly touching so you might have to go and use the direct selection tool to adjust some of these anchor points to make sure they're not too close to one another and sometimes I also just scale them down a bit like so and there we go now the next step would be to select all of these then copy them by hitting ctrl C and then paste in front by clicking ctrl F if we change the color to white now bring down the stroke width on these we can see that we've now got white arches in front of the black ones which is going to help us with applying some of the nice patterns and shapes onto the arches now one way you can do this is by clicking into the stroke settings hitting dashed line and just basically playing around with these settings there's lots of variations that you could come up with it's just a really fun thing to play around with if you bring up the stroke size as well you can can create sort of a dot design like so which always looks really nice uh, yeah as I said just play around with it you can be creative and the second way I like to go about customizing these is the effects panel so for example one thing that looks quite cool is distort and transform zigzag if you play around with the settings here bring the size down quite a bit and the segments up you can create quite a cool pattern maybe select smooth as well and there we go right one tip I wanted to give you is you can actually use the blend tool to paste any custom shape onto these lines now for example if you wanted to have some hearts on there you could obviously make a heart and copy and paste it along the arch which is quite tedious but there is also a different way to go about it i'll just quickly make a heart design right here like so and there we are what you want to do next is change the color of this heart to something other than black just so we can see it once it's pasted onto the rainbow white doesn't work in this case because we still want to see what we're doing with it now make it smaller so it basically would fit on here and paste it across then select both of the hearts go to blend make and back to blend blend options change the spacing option to specified steps then bring this down so you have quite a bit of gap in between each heart so in my case maybe 10 or 9 steps press ok again and then you want to select both the blend and the stroke that you want to paste your hearts onto go back to object blend replace spine and there we go it's pasted the hearts among a stroke and you could do this with basically any shape save yourself a lot of time by just making some of these blends so if you presets paste them all over your your rainbows and you've got really nice unique designs now obviously in this case some of the hearts are overlapping which uh, could easily be solved if you just expand this and then move the bottom ones up there we are so now lastly i'm just going to take one of these hearts paste it at the bottom and now the only thing that's left to do is really change the colors of this now you might want to take this to the side and leave it for later if you want to make more rainbows in the future you've already got a sort of preset and that way you don't have to start all the way from scratch again now to color this in you need to select everything hit expand appearance and then expand both the fill and the stroke I would just double check if there's nothing overlapping like here you might want to use the shape builder tool which is over here in the toolbar and just get rid of these overlapping dots in my case but now I'm going to find a color scheme and just quickly color this in
And there we are, as you can see, I've colored it in. I've used one of my previous rainbow designs and just copied the color scheme. Feel free to screenshot it and use the same colors on your rainbow. I hope you enjoyed this video. Have fun creating some of your own rainbow designs. I hope you have a nice day. I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye.